Chris at Rockford Ordnance. We are coming to you today. It's Christmas Eve. Thought we'd get a quick video in. We got a cool accessory to show you here. We're gonna do a little review, a little shooting, and show you what it's all about. But I figure since it's Christmas Eve, it's a good time to introduce my best pal here. This is Lexi. She's an English Mastiff. She's seven years old, and she's got a little boyfriend here. Believe it or not, he's a Chihuahua. He weighs about, oh, eight pounds, and Lexi's about 150. She's kind of small for a Mastiff, but she's adorable and the prettiest girl in the whole world. Yes, we love her to death. This about as excited as she ever gets. Sometimes we got to put a mirror under her nose to make sure she's breathing. <laughs> but uh, wonderful dog, uh, good guard dog. She's got a heck of a bark, not too much bite in her. Um, but just a magnificent dog. If you've never had an English Mastiff or been around them, I wish I would have discovered them years ago because they are just the most phenomenal, gentle, protective, just great dogs. Uh, good apartment dog, actually. You know, they're not uh, too active, even when they're young. We got her at about a year old, and uh, she's been just great. She just had some surgery to remove a lump, and she's all good for Christmas. All good to go. Right, Lex? You getting some presents? Well, Daddy got some presents, too. So, without further ado, we will bring you Magpul's PMAG D60. We've been testing this thing out on our AR pistol build. Comes in that box, you see, comes with some instructions and a sticker, and this is it, guys. Compact, tiny little package. Uh, unlike an AK mag, uh, this thing is super compact, fits under the gun, doesn't get in the way. Works on the same principle. When you open this thing up, and disassembly is super easy, uh, you just pop these off the back. I can show you real quick. Just take a screwdriver and essentially stick it under here and pry all the way around. There's four of them. And that's it. They come off like so. And you pull it apart. And then the, the guts come out like they would on an AR mag. You just twist this and the inner assembly comes out for cleaning. Super easy, super easy to get back together. All you gotta do is put those little legs in and snap them back down. It's super easy. So I will put this together real quick and then we'll get to the heart of the matter. Just wanted to show you for once how easy things are to actually come apart. There's no goofing around. So there you go. This is the loading lever on the front and this enables you to allow the rounds to drop when you push it so you can easily load more. Uh, folds out of the way when you're not using it. Also really cool this thing has last round bolt, bolt hold open capabilities and we've used it a ton on our gun. Here's a little bit of shooting. So guys, let's see how this runs. We've got a uh, Chicago compliant mag here. Uh, you know, even though I'm a Wisconsin boy, uh, originally from down there. And uh, this is definitely Chicago compliant, right? Uh, let's see how this baby runs. Guess it works okay. Ah, magnificent. What a package. <laughs> so what'd you think of that guys? Pretty cool. Runs fine, runs flawless. I have yet to have one misfeed with this as fast as you want to fire. 
Uh, not one single misfeed with it. Let's show it to you in the gun. Goes in on a closed bolt really easy and looks great. It's tiny. You can see the, uh, you know, doesn't make it all that much wider. You know, you put your fist behind here on the grip and it's not that much wider. 60 rounds, like I said, it gives you a lot of firepower. You can just keep on rolling and uh, works great. Haven't had a single miscue. Seems tough enough. Super polymer. Um, I would not be afraid to drop this thing. I, I have not, but I don't. It seems much tougher than even a regular PMAG or anything of the sorts. Just works great. Last round bolt, bolt hold open, like I said. And uh, really nice. We'll show you how to load it here real quick. What I do like about it, like other PMAGs, they included the uh, little indents or lines here so you can load stripper clips. So when you buy uh, like green tip here on stripper clips, they always come with these little loaders. You just slide it over the back of the mag here fits in those grooves like so. Insert your stripper clip down as far as you go. Then I help it along here with the crank. You don't want to be jamming in there. So all we do is push down and let me do it with the other hand here. They're a little hard to get going but once they get going they slide right in. So there we go. There's 10. I know that looked a little harder. It was mostly because I didn't have uh, anything solid to put it against. But that's it. There's 10 rounds in and you would just do another two stripper clips and have 30. And there they are. Simple as that. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you thought the shooting was cool. Uh, we're going to bring you a bunch of other accessories that we did on this pistol build and uh, kind of get a little mileage out of this thing. Got a lot more cool stuff on here to show you. So stay tuned from Rockford Ordnance Channel. Merry Christmas and as always Rockford Ordnance out.